All right, so that like really has to do it because I'm tired. You guys want to make fun of me? You're calling me stupid. You're calling me lame. You're calling me the fake one. We're going on six years of it, though. So, I don't know. I tried to go to sleep last night with some of the pain meds that they gave me for the, uh... That freaking hurt, but more on that in a different... So let me stay on subject here. Today is 111, January 11th. We're going on six years of this. It's this giant pile of retarded gremlins and goblins, and I don't even know how to describe how ugly and stupid two-digit IQ tweaker jackasses are. Uh, but literally, six years of these idiots waddling around behind me, trying to sell their story like used car salesmen to everybody. And it doesn't make sense that they keep getting left behind, especially since a third of Hollywood is supporting their claims, lying for them. So my question that I've been barking out since like two in the morning, I got a little irritated and started projecting my voice in a nice loud tone. They were out there skidding around as quiet as they could right in front of me, but then they're like on either side of the hill just baby stepping. But I, I laid it out since two in the morning right up until six and they wouldn't get anywhere near me. I thought I even heard some homie go, so where is he? And of course, just like I called them out, they disappeared whenever I got to that area waddled around behind me but this is ridiculous like the thing I was bellowing out earlier is how come tall swine or any of the swine actually but mainly I guess goblin swine is how come he's not yelling at these celebrity people for leaving him here right I mean he beats me up all the time and tells me what to do and then he's got that stupid patsy tall swine that wrote all of my work and he's the real G and I'm just some fake homeless guy so why do they keep getting left Today is January 11th, it's been six years and ten days, in my opinion, more than enough time, so I've been bellowing out pretty much all morning, all hail King Swine, that retarded Kid Rock wannabe, and go, stop leaving them here, that doesn't mean listen to their excuses as to why they have to be at the foot of my hill all day, every day. Or what excuses they're coming up with right now as to why they got to stay in San Luis instead of going home with you idiots. So pack up the swine's shit, whatever apartment or garage they're creeping in and out of, put them in an SUV and go. No joke. I'm not going to make this video too much longer because I actually want to go do some sightseeing today. It's a new year, gloves are off, I actually want to... I actually want to do some stuff. But I can't move this situation to another city. From Lompoc all the way to Malibu, these idiot gremlins following me around, snickering all that shit, only to literally, shamelessly hide in front of everybody when I start walking towards them. Ugh. And now they're doing it here. I've been in this town six months, bugging all of these people in San Luis Obispo. I can't move this another city up, or east, or west. I can't do that. It's not right. So for six years, these idiots have been proving their superiority over me to the same people in the same dumb, immature, backwards, cowardly, wormy ways. And I don't know what to do anymore. Angelina Jolie with her millionaire self is always five minutes behind me. She's just pleading her selfless soul. is just trying so she's not. All the money she's getting from that sexual campaigning is going straight into the swine's pockets so that more girls have testimony as to why we need more action against sexual violence. That is real. I'm not making that up. That's Angelina Jolie. So, <laughs> I'm tired of this. I want to see this swine on the red carpet. Put a fucking crown on his head, get him on stage, put him on the microphone, and give him his victory speech. The shit's over. The shit's over. Ruby Rose is actually the straw that broke my back. It took this long for that situation to digest. Last night something happened with a riggedy black SUV. Parked, like, right there on the entrance of my trail. 
two dark silhouettes behind tinted windows. I put my bag down. I walked back and forth in front of it for a second. I said, ooh, nice tinted windows. Nothing. Not even five minutes after I'm back up in that hill, I hear this weird umphing from whatever girl was sitting there waiting for me to walk by so she could tell everybody I couldn't find her and then bend over for these freaking retards. Get all of the swine, <laughs> pile them into that SUV, and take them with you. San Luis Obispo is tired of all of this. And we're done with the excuses. There should be zero excuses coming out of anybody right now. But what about this? And what about that? How come this? All of it. Done. Swine charade over. January 11th is a perfect day. Lots of symmetry. All hail King Swine and his butt-raping, dick-sucking, patsy tall swine at him. Yes? Yes. I think so. Let's see where we're at here. Excuse me. 7, 29, Tuesday, January 11th. You guys, uh, hook off. Seriously. Done with this.